you should be physically active every single day. Uh, if you look at the way, even my generation, the way we were growing up, my, my parents had to tell me to come in. You know, nowadays it seems like parents are trying to force their kids to go out. You know, I'd be the kid that was out there and parents would be going, you know, time to come in. I'd be going, you know, 10 more minutes. You have to stay out, stay active, get that sport development. If you're a kid and trying to get active and you don't really know what you like, sometimes it's good to just go something that you're naturally good at. It's always more fun if you're, it's always more fun if you're good at it and uh, you're more likely to keep it up. When we talk about issues of childhood obesity, to be honest, I think uh, the biggest part of the problem is usually with the parents. Um, have to lead by example. If parents are at home on the couch eating potato chips, watching TV, then telling their kid to go be active, it's not a strong message. If you find something that's fun for you, you're not going to want to keep doing it if it's not fun. Uh, you're not going to want to keep going to basketball practice if you can't stand basketball. Basically the first stage with little kids is just what you need to teach young kids when they're most, when it's easiest for them to learn. Games that are fun, that include jumping, running, climbing, kicking, throwing, all your athletic attributes. 15 year olds should not be training to win. They always think they are, but they should be training to train. Teaching those habits so they get to the next level, they can train to compete, and then finally get to the next level where it's all about winning, where it is about results. Talking Olympics, college sports, professional sports. The very last stage is called active for life. And you can exit the model at any stage. We're not trying to make your kid necessarily a college athlete. That's not for everyone. That's not what everyone wants, and it's not by any means what everyone needs. But if you get into this long-term athlete development, if you end up wanting that, well, then you've just developed as the best, uh, you know, the best your genes will allow you to. You've just developed as an athlete. But if you exit out at any time, you then go straight to the end, active for life. You're going to be a more adult, active adult. You're going to be less obese. You're going to be better set up for fighting cardiovascular disease. You're going to be a person who wants to go get a gym membership as an adult. You're going to be a person who wants to join intramural sports. So if you get your kids started at a young age, it's not saying everyone's going to go run in the Olympics. It's saying everyone's going to set up those habits to fight not only childhood obesity, but later on in life, be healthier as well. Thank you.